I'm thinking this is my last solar carport video and I can move back to solar trailer 2 and the trip I'm going to take it on. But for the most part it's done less hooking up the panels to the inverters and such. But this is how it turned out. I'm going to break down the costs at the end of the video so if you stay to the end of the video or fast forward to the end of the video you will get to see how much this cost me. I'm going to include the labor this time. Uh, a friend of mine who's a contractor, uh, this is his design and most of his work. I was just a laborer. So let's get into the build. So the materials we use to construct this, the front four six by sixes are 12 footers. In the rear were 16 footers. I bought, I think it was about 44, 45, 2 by 12 by 24s, and they got cut down a little bit because I needed a 22 foot span at the very least, but wanted to keep it so it went over the drive, but not beyond that. And then on top, the purlins. I actually use 2 by 6 by 8s I know that's a little overkill, but the way I fastened the panels down, it just made it real easy. And another way to say that, it would be hard to miss uh, connecting them onto the 2x6s. So instead of setting those 22 footers on top of that front beam and the rear beam, we did an angle cut so it fit perfectly between those two inner and outer beams and just use joist hangers. I think on an earlier video I called them hurricane clips. Well, my contractor corrected me. They're just joist hangers. Hurricane clips would be, I think, if we sat the beam on top and then it would connect those two beams together. But maybe I'll throw a picture of a joist hanger versus a hurricane clip. But uh, he actually ran aluminum all the way around. And then the roof is simply 36 panels, six by six. And we ran silicone in between each one. So underneath you can see all the panels are there again i didn't wire them into anything yet you can actually see a little light between them but there's silicone between each panel i'm waiting for a hard rain to test it now you can see those clips i was talking about apparently those are just joist hangers not hurricane clips or hurricane hangers i actually like the way it looks underneath uh with it just being the bare wood I don't know if you noticed, but I did paint the 6 by 6s black. I think that makes it look a little nicer. So the 6 by 6s painted black, the 2 by 12s painted black at the ground level. I'm going to put a lot of gravel there so I don't have a bunch of rain falling down and splashing onto it. I have the 1B, I just didn't put it across that whole section mostly on the lower side because on the lower side you're going to have all the water just sheeting off of this carport and I'm not going to put a gutter on it or at least I don't think I'm going to. I might change my mind. I could tie right into the house gutters if need be or actually the downspouts and or the pipes that take it away from the house. This is what it looks like from behind my house on my neighbor's hill. You can see it's sticking up a little bit, but it's actually lower than the house's peak. It's hard to believe this came together in eight days. Just myself and my buddy Rich. This is a quick progression of our build. And then I'm going to outline the cost. That's all that's left to do. So 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video, but here come the costs. 45, 2 by 12 by 24, 31.55. 70 joint hangers from Lowe's, $175. One box of nails for a nail gun, 40 bucks. Two boxes of screws to fasten the panels to the purlins, $54. Four 6 by 6 by 12s, 176. Four 6 by 6 by 16s, 235. Eight 2 by 12 by 12s, $298. 12 pieces of metal in the associated J channel, $680. Two rolls of trim sheet to trim it out, $256. One window free from upgrading the windows of my house. It arrived with a scratch, no cost. One pallet of 400 watt panels, $4,700. And my buddy, the contractor, I paid him $4,000. So the grand total is... $13,769. What am I going to do with this? Well, I have that Chevy Silverado EV that has a 205 kilowatt hour battery pack. The Tesla Model X has a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. The Livewire 1, not sure what the size is, but I have to charge that up. Electric bike, and then I have to run all the electric in the house. My hopes is by next year, I will be off the grid completely. I'll keep the utility. I'll keep uh, water and such in case of emergency. But for the most part, I will be energy independent. That's the journey that I'm on. And thanks for watching to the end. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you haven't seen the Solar Trailer 2 video, I plan on taking it on a trip and the journey in and of itself will cost no money. It will pay for no charging. I'll either produce it with the Solar Trailer or find free charging options. So if you haven't already, check that video out as well. Oh, I did want to show one more thing. I wanted to show the panels, boy, I got close to that tree, <laughs> uh, that I have out back that actually power this outbuilding I have, which I refer to as the garage mahal. It was just off to the left there. I don't know that it comes into view, but all in all, I think I have 47 kilowatts of panels and 250 kilowatt hours of storage. So that's where I'm at in my journey. I'm done for real now. Thanks for staying even beyond the end. Have a good day.